good. Link's employee handbook, tools and equipment. Link's advises against using the, yeah, slicing bread, right. I remember this one. Good morning, ship breaker. Your theta wave levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Uh, okay. Achieve a perfect salvage of over 98%. Nice. I did a great job. Caffeine pod. I don't know how to do that. So, let's look at my workstation here. God, why does this keep getting damaged? Do I have any upgrades I can do? Because I'm rank 6. Oh, I can afford this one now. Ooh. More tethers. Ever wanted to be able to hear in space? Cutting edge Lynx tech allows your suit to resynthesize audio from nearby hazards in unpressurized areas. I actually don't want that. Alright, what did I say I was going to do? I'm going to add range. And... Oh, damn. I would have taken that if I had been thinking. And I have a new sticker. Where's my little spaceman sticker? There he is. Stick him right there. It's a very satisfying slap sound. Okay. Pressurized chips. Let's go. Weaver. Teach me all about pressurized chips. Link's employee handbook, tools and equipment. The stinger's name comes from the slight pain when accidentally touching the beam, right before total vaporization of the body. Alright. Our friend Lou thinks she's the resident expert on how to deal with a pressurized ship. So I'm gonna let her take the lead on this one. She always give me a hard time, but you know I'm good. Sure thing, Lou. Take it away. Okay. Hey, Rook. Time for the fun stuff. And by fun, I mean incredibly dangerous. There can be lots of pockets of pressurized space throughout a ship. It's best to scan ahead and see what's up. Activate your scanner and let's have a look. Your scanner will show you information about the interior of the ship, including whether a room is pressurized or not. Red is unpressurized and green is pressurized. Essentially, if you make a cut between the two spaces, you'll cause a violent decompression. Uh, the correct term is explosive decompression. <laughs> explosive, same deal. <laughs> okay, we don't want to crack into the ship and have it pop. When a ship is pressurized like this, best to go in through the airlock. Use the scanner to locate it. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Oh, you're not even letting me... Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. Now, cycle the airlock to pressurize it. There should be a switch in there. and you can depressurize them using the atmosphere regulator. Should be one just inside. Although, as you'll learn, sometimes there are good reasons to keep the rooms pressurized. Okay, so there's the... That's all there is to it. Now, sometimes you're gonna have to depressurize the ship violently. <coughs> Explosively. Explosively. If you don't want to get stuck through a one-inch hull fracture, Use your hands to grab onto any nearby surface. Oh, uh, and watch out for differential pressure between areas of the ship. Sometimes compartments can have isolated pressurization systems. Remember, scan ahead. And that about covers it. Good luck out there, Rook. Blue out. All right, so let's see what we've just depressurized our first ship. Carrying his cargo, carrying his fuel, fuel just loose in here. Now I saw, yes, I did.
salvage secured. Account credit applied. Hmm. Object right. accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit what? Computer transferred. terminal? Oh! In the reactor room. That was dumb. Oh well. Alright. Let's uh, clear out all the trash. I like to have just like a little butterfly net or something like that for these guys. And, okay. Straight down, let's go. I love that the barge has some sort of technology that just lets it not explode when you throw a nuclear reactor at it. Or like, undoes the meltdown. Undoes? Undoes the meltdown. Alright, so this, like the other training we did on the reactor, means I'm just salvaging this ship now, which I'm going to try and get it done in a single shift because I just feel like it. I'm going to focus on doing this, and hopefully get it done in 10 minutes. supposed to cut that then? Thank <laughs> you. 
kind of all clustered now. I don't think I'm, my suit is damaged. Have a nice day. But my health is low. Behind it. Can I cut up some of the cut this one? Tethers depleted. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Salvage gained. Credits awarded. This is still good for the processor. Salvage secured. Account credit applied.
Oxygen reserves are low. Deposit accepted. Oxygen level stabilizing. secured. Credits deposited. Done with us. Okay. Caution. Tether supplies running low. I guess I didn't count. Whatever, 1.9 million. Fine. Oh, can you tell this has been a a long sit down? Well, it hasn't actually, but I think I'm done uh, my recording for the day. Obviously, it's not going to make any difference to you, the viewer. Um, but yeah, rank seven, that's a that's a decent place to, to stop. I can't remember if, I think rank seven might be where act one ends. So let's see. <laughs> 